Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did just film a video, so if you can see Sunday's video, go check it out. It's my foundation routine, so I will not be filming that in this video, so definitely get to go check it out. <laughs> so today's tutorial is going to be something for fall because it's getting that time of year where you gotta put up that fall makeup tutorial. Everyone's looking for it, searching the interwebs. Yeah, right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy and enjoy this fall inspired tutorial. We are going to start off with some eyeshadow base. This is the NYX HD eyeshadow base. All the products will be linked below, but I just kind of almost stabbed myself in the eye with that. Um, I'm going to just stick that on my eyelids and blend it in with my finger. Next, I'm going to take a Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, stick that on my finger, and also put that on my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take a skin tone eyeshadow. Obviously, this is one's basically out. This is Maybelline Earthly Taupe and a big um, shadow brush. And I'm just going to basically set the primer and everything with this shadow. Going in with my NYX Natural Palette, I'm going to take my favorite transition shade right now, which is this really pretty peachy one, smack dab and not in the middle, but it is and the 224 by MAC and just basically blend this in my crease and just a little bit above. Okay, so we are going to start with the crease to start kind of building that up. I'm going to start off with my Naked 2 palette um, and it's going to be Tease, which is my go-to. Sorry that it was so blinding because that light was right in your eyes, but this really pretty just kind of simple brownish taupe shade. This is my go-to crease shade for every look. Take the 217 by MAC and just start building that color up. We're going to put more on top, but this is like a really good kind of starter shade. So we're going to do that first and then build up. We're going to go in with the 224 and blend that out. So to add to the crease color, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution London palette. This is awkward. I'm not really showing up there. But I'm going to take this kind of, um, kind of cinnamony brown and also this more kind of greeny brown. I will point to both of them in the palette. So this one is the more cinnamony one and this is a little bit greener on the same 217 brush, just mixing those, just kind of, you know, sticking them in the and blending that in the crease. And then with the 224, we are going to blend that out. Okay, so we are going to start with the outer part and the inner part. We're going to do that same color, kind of a dark brown. And then we're going to use this really, really fun, coppery, almost fiery, great leaf color. Which is, you know, props to this palette for having because it's perfect for all. Um, so the shadow that I'm going to use on the inner and outer portion is going to be this really pretty brown right here has like those similar kind of coppery tones in it on just a brush from Target. And yeah, we're going to pack that on the inner portion and also the outer portion of the eyelid. Okay, so now that we have that, we can always go back. I'm gonna do go back in after with the same color, but I want to stick the kind of bright coppery color in the middle. So what you wanna do, especially with shadows like these, there is gonna be a lot of fallout. So I take my brush, spray some water on it from pretty far away, like just like shh. And it should stick to the brush pretty well. And um, then we're going to stick that on the middle portion of our eyelid. Okay, 
So with this little stubby brush, I just need a better brush to get to the more of the inner corner with that same brown, the same brown we put on before. And I'm just going to pack that on a little bit more and also just kind of bring it up into the crease a tad bit. Doing the same thing to the outer corner, just kind of reapplying. And then I'm going to go back in with the same crease mixture we used before and just kind of darken that up and bring it up a little bit on my eye as well. And then we are going to blend it out. Then once again, I'm going to go in with that copper color with the same brush and everything from before. So now I'm going to take that Around we put on the inner and outer portion of the eye on this little stubby brush and just on the tip of the brush and blend that underneath the lash line. The last thing for the eyes is curling your lashes and applying mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use CoverGirl's Full Lash Bloom. Okay, so I'm going to be using Diva Lipstick by MAC, which is very scary and dark, but it looks really pretty. Um, I like to put some chapstick on before, just so it's a little bit more sheer than normal. This is a really good lipstick for fall, if you guys have to. So I'm just going to stick that on my lips and make them look nice and And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.